What is up everybody, Sven Diesel here. We're gonna be tying up a damsel nymph. This is using a product by uh, Fly Skins called Kylie's Dim Damsel uh, Tails. Comes in a few different colors. You can see we're fishing this as an unweighted uh, nymph damsel. Um, I fish it on the high mountain lakes and I'll be targeting some bluegill, maybe some bass with this, but uh, we've got an A-Rex hook here. This is an FW560 in a size 10 and we're using a Semperfly wax thread and an A dot. As you can see, I've got a little bit of the tan left. We should be fine to uh, finish this fly, but we'll go ahead and start our thread on the hook shank, working our way back to the uh, the bend, and we'll cut out our tag in at that point. Now, for this product, we're going to create, um, basically use the same uh, exact techniques that uh, Fly Skins uses. We're going to take a, a piece of this uh, micro uh, rabbit strip. This is an olive variant. Uh, and we'll go ahead and take about a uh, section of this, the length of the overall hook. And what I'll do is I'll basically pull off the hair of about half of that uh, little strip we just cut off, uh, leaving the the uh, the hide exposed. And we're going to tie it in right there on the top of the shank so that the rabbit fur is going um, uh, basically how I'm showing you here. And you'll see why here in a minute. This is the exact same way that uh, Jonathan Kiley does it in his YouTube video. Um, I'm going to put a link right here you can click on to go to it or it will also be down in the description and then I'll tie this in securing it and go a little bit into the bend. Now this is why it is a cool product. This is the uh, the damsel tails. It comes in a small or a, a medium or a large all in the same pack. Uh, it's, through, it's distributed through hairline and what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a medium one and you can see it's already pre-cut. This is an exoskin material super durable and I'm just going to tie it in right here at the uh, the back of this uh, hook shank with some nice securing wraps. And we'll uh, basically um, secure this to our rabbit hide using super glue. Like I said, this is exactly how um, Jonathan Kiley does it in his video. Um, I really like it. It provides great action. But just put a little dab here on the hide. And then without um, getting too much of the hair stuck in there, just secure it into the middle of that tail. And what you're going to do here, the reason we're not gluing the whole tail is you want it to be movable. It's going to be kind of a flap almost, creating nice movement and uh, just wicked, wicked awesome. And that way those two are tied together and uh, we're, we're golden. We've got our tail done. You can see how quick that makes the process. So um, I do my damsels a little different than he does because I'm going to grab these large damsel tails. And I'm just going to tie it in right where we tied in our other tail with some nice securing wraps. A little bit of bulk here is okay, and then all I will um, leave that kind of hanging there. Now you can use exoskin or a bunch of different materials, but I just like to use that. So for our body, we're going to be using this is a Semperfly. Uh, they're a straggle string, and I'm cutting off about a six to eight inch piece here. And this is their olive, uh, golden olive, and I'll tie that in. And then I'm going to tie in a few other materials by Semperfly. It's their quick dub. And I really want to create a multi-colored body. Um, most of the damsels I see up on the high mountain lakes, are, uh, they have a lot of that golden olive to them. But I also want to create a little bit of a dark. So I'm using just regular olive in the quick tub. And I'll tie that in, cutting these the same length, about 6 to 8 inches. And then we're going to also tie in another strand of this quick tub in the uh, golden olive. And uh, that way we have a really good um, contrast on the body. You can see this this stuff is um, all on a uh, cord and so it's going to be super durable and that straggle string is a synthetic material and is just ultra durable and we're going to twist these three materials together and create kind of our own chenille w body so uh, grab those twist them up with your finger if you need to just moisten your fingers you can also stick a alligator clip on the end of this and actually spin it up but I just twist it with my fingers because I don't want it to be ultra tight. And we'll go ahead and wrap this. Just palmer it up to about where our thread is, making sure to get some right there where we're going to wrap this exoskin over. That way it creates a little bit of a hump, um, mimicking what a damsel body looks like in real life. And because I want it to be a little bit chunky, um, we're going to just double that over and then end with our... Um, little corded of quick dub and straggle string just right there and I'll secure it with a couple wraps and then set it aside and then I will pull this damsel tail over and I'm not going to just set it down I'm going to stretch it I'm not pulling with all the weight of my body and you know using the Wheaties I had for breakfast 
I'm just pulling it tight enough that it, it creates kind of that um, a pointy edge body so we get a couple of those spikes from the tail and then I'll secure it with some thread wraps and the next step is we want to tie in this mono these are some mono eyes by hairline um, this is uh, I think the small size and I'll just secure those in right now with some figure eight wraps just leaving about a half an eye gap between <clears throat> where I tie these in and where um, uh, they are positioned uh, in relation to the uh, the hook eye uh, so we can uh, finish our fly properly and we'll do some figure eights and some over unders uh, this isn't going to take a beating like some of my trout flies like I said we're targeting bluegill and so uh, that that seems like it's enough wraps to me uh, I'll go ahead and twist up this uh, these two strands of quick dub and straggle string again and then I'll palmer it uh, up to those eyes and just making sure I create uniformity so I'm going to go back over this just a little bit and then come back right behind those eyes getting a wrap and then I'll end it just over the top like that so there's not a ton of uh, bulk right there at the front because if you look at the damsel uh, it has this segmentation but it doesn't really have a a long nose and so that's it pretty much uh, is ends with the eyes but there's a little bit out there so if you haven't seen one go ahead and just google damsel nymph uh, but uh, look for them in your high mountain waters and we'll do another segmentation right here behind the eyes to kind of create more of that uh, pointiness of the body and make sure to pull it a little bit tight and then for the to finish the fly I'm pulling it really tight as I wrap over it and then have to move my other hand to wrap over it again and then the key is to get a few wraps on the underneath here that way it basically pushes those top two wraps together and secures this material now I'm not trimming this ultra flush um, just because I don't want that skin to be sucked back through because we are stretching it but I'll just do some nice securing wraps after I've cut that and making sure we are secure we'll grab our whip finisher and just do a single whip finish three turn whip finish and finish up our fly so relatively quick fly um, most of these materials come in a few different colors I know the the damsel tails come in like an orange and a black this is the olive and uh, we're going to use a little bit of UV resin here right around the eyes just to secure those thread wraps and that will kind of seep in to um, hold that all together um, and make it even more durable. So you may think we're done, but whenever we use um, some of this quick dub or any sort of dubbing material, I like to brush it out. So we are going to finish this fly by grabbing um, your favorite go-to brush and just really being aggressive on this underbody bringing some of that quick dub out of uh, the core and uh, you can see that straggle string just glowing through it's going to be a sweet attractor to the uh, fish who are looking at this thinking I want my lip to be pierced so um, relatively quick tie um, this is a size 10 I fish them in 8 10s and 12s primarily um, you can see that the tail is a little bit uh, in more proportion to the body but this is a super effective fly super durable and uh, you basically just got to tie some up and fish them so I'll fish this usually on floating line or on a sinking line but hope they catch some fish mm -hmm.